a look at the process of bifurcation of Andhra Pradesh that has been marked by bitterness and acrimony. Though the state is not yet geographically bifurcated on paper, in many senses the divide between the three regions is very visible. And the realization is slowly dawning that more than the political and economic cost of bifurcation, handling the emotional cost of this divorce will prove to be the biggest challenge. <laughs> Fear is an emotion that Barsha Bhargavi talks a lot about these days. A tour operator based out of Hyderabad, Barsha says despite the city having been declared the common capital of both Telangana and Residuary Andhra Pradesh for the next 10 years, she would feel unsafe to work there. Her roots are in coastal Andhra Pradesh and her Telugu accent is a giveaway. Uh, yes, we are uh, you know, at the crossroads. We don't know where to go. And we would very, very much love to stay back in Hyderabad and see uh, the city grow and like, you know, we are a part of it. I have seen the, the bridges built, I have seen the roads expanded, I have seen the new airport constructed. Why can't you stay on? I, I can stay on, but I still have this uh, inherent sense of fear within me, which is, uh, I, I wouldn't want to sound very negative about it. But uh, yes, the fear is definitely there because maybe, you know, suddenly if somebody comes and says that, look, yeah, can I, you know, these, these are, the, you know, the, these people, they have this mob, mob mentality. So I cannot so, talk anything against them. I couldn't do when four students entered my office and say, today's band, why are you keeping your shutters open? How many seats are we going to get? Parakala Prabhakar, who supports a united Andhra Pradesh, endorses what Varsha is going through. She says it's no surprise that non-Telanganites will feel like second-class citizens in Hyderabad given the hatred and bitterness that has marked the separation. The apprehensions are very, very, very real. People are afraid and people are getting some kind of a menacing kind of a, you know, signals from those who uh, have been agitating for separation all these years. That is very true. So people, people are fearing that after the bifurcation, if it goes through, their lives will be in danger, their properties will be in danger, their uh, professions will be in danger, their businesses will be in danger, in spite of the Telang Telangana Rashtra Samiti leaders saying that, you know, we are there to protect you and all that. Nobody is taking those assurances seriously. The reason why they are not taking assurances seriously is that the same people have created this hate, created this kind of a bitter atmosphere. Telangana activists say that people of the region have been at the receiving end of the domination by coastal Andhra Pradesh since 1956. That's when Andhra Pradesh was formed by the merger of then Hyderabad state with Andhra Pradesh state. No wonder then that there are many who feel it's payback time. If uh, there are conditions on people of Telangana and if we see that Simandra dominance is still there uh, through jobs or investments or many other reasons and if Telangana people are not given their fair share even though Telangana state is formed, Telangana state is for people. It is just not for a political uh, party to uh, get uh, power onto Telangana state. It is for uh, the self-rule and self-respect and the opportunities and if these opportunities are not provided then definitely payback onto Simandra will happen. The mindset will go against the Simandra people. Telangana leaders such as Congress MLA from Hyderabad Shashida Reddy say the wounds created by the strident tone during the agitation have yet to heal. In 2010, a large number of uh, people from Simandra when they uh, went to their villages during Sankranti when Hyderabad gets really deserted. Um, there were uh, calls uh, uh, to the people of uh, the local people not to allow the Simandra people to return. But it's not just those from Simandra who are feeling the pain of loss. Clinical psychiatrist Dr. Purnima Nagaraja says depression and stress among those participating in the Telangana movement was common during the years that the agitation was at its peak. Three years ago when the Telangana conflict was in full swing, the patients that used to come for counselling were mostly people who were depressed, very agitated about their futures and a lot of university students who were in the fervour of the 
uh, movement itself. Uh, some of them had severe stress related disorders, some had severe anxiety disorders and some had post traumatic stress disorder in the sense that they were going through the agitations, there was a lot of uh, uh, lati charges and all that, some of them had gotten hurt and uh, because of that they had uh, they were getting nightmares and fear about their future amma telangana ma akali ke telangana ma amma niku vandanalamo amma ni premani dam yetalo matti chipavu gai dolla gadalli some, like the Baladia Gadar, who agitated for statehood for Telangana, feel a sense of emptiness at gaining a mere geographical entity. Gadar, who has penned and sung several songs on Telangana, says the bifurcation is only a transfer of power from the powerful in Simandra to the powerful in Telangana. It is a geographical division. So, I said in my that is the dream of the martyrs, not the dream of this. ये जो ड्रीम करे ना वो वो फिजिकली यहाँ पर ऐसा डिवीजन हो गया डिवीजन होने के बाद देश जैसे कहाँ क्लास कोलैबोरेशन हो गया इफ द वी वर्सेस देम थीम हैज डिफाइन्ड द तेलंगाना एजुटेशन इट इस आल्सो ड्यू टू व्हाट इस परसीड एस द नॉन इंक्लूसिव नेचर ऑफ द इंटेलेक्चुअल्स एंड � the acrimony has only seeped downwards into other state of society, making hate the dominant emotion in Andhra Pradesh today. To ensure that more people from Telangana supported the movement for a separate state, the agitation was constructed on the basis of self-respect for the people of the region. That had its roots in Telangana culture, its songs and its festivals. And you know this, this intellectuals for Telangana who are clamoring for Telangana state are mobilized uh, masses, classes from the Telangana region on the basis of culture. This is our culture, this is our identity and you know our, our culture is superior, I know not their culture and uh, it's, no, it's Andhra culture is inferior and our culture is superior. This you know this something called there is a cultural hegemony has been you know, uh, directed towards the Telangana people by the, you know, Simandra, specifically uh, from the uh, Delta districts, you know, of Andhra, uh, coastal Andhra. And just in order to give a counter hegemonic strategy, okay, so this intellectuals have start used the cultural phenomenon as a political, you know, vehicle in mobilizing the masses. So I think in, in order to do that, they have gained a uh, you know tremendable success tremendable success you know based on that self-respect uh, angle this all the political economy perspective has been created now this is the emotional gain for the telangana people it is certainly emotional loss for the simandra region over a period of time the words spoken by all three regions has begun to sound the same sharp biting and hurtful and more so in the online space where anonymity gives many the license to abuse. This probably gave them some kind of a vent. You know, they could vent their spleen, but then it vitiated the atmosphere so much that then you have people who wanted integration. They were they were somehow you know psychologically forced to return the abuse in the same coin thereby forfeiting their claim for integration because you see once I abuse you as a separatist and you return the abuse as an integrationist there is no integration there so even the even the staunchest integrationists have lost patience and returned the abuse thereby this hate campaign turned many integrationists into separatists so will the Hyderabad of tomorrow be a city where a man's roots will decide how tall he will be allowed to grow? मेरा बाजू घर वाले बैंक के प्ले है और मैं भी हूँ वो गुंटूर का है मैं यहाँ का हूँ वो सुकून से सो रहा है People are not worried about whether Telangana, Andhra they are engaged in work and all those things only the rulers and especially who want to still continue their power on the land 
ऑन रियल इस्टेट ऑन एक्सप्लाइटेशन ऑन इलेक्शन वो लोगों का पीछे अंदर है लेकिन अपन ये देखना है कि ये गरीब लोग उसके अंदर विक्टिमाइज ना होना चाहिए दिस आर सर्टनली टेस्टिंग टाइम्स फॉर द पीपल ऑफ आंध्र प्रदेश एंड मोर सो फॉर दिस फोर हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी टू ईयर ओल्ड सिटी विच इज हिदर टू बी नोन फॉर इट्स तहजीब और द कल्चर ऑफ बींग ए वेरी वेलकमिंग होस्ट